I discussed fixing Nigeria with Obi Femi Kuti. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Afrobeat musician Femi Kuti became the target of internet trolls when he stated that being obedient in Nigeria was tantamount to being a zombie. Many supporters of P2B, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, who were called obedience, took his statement as an attack against them. However, Hobi later cautioned his followers and supporters to stop heckling and harassing Kuti. He later visited Kuti during the week. In an interview with Saturday Bits, Kuti stated that though he would not like to discuss the details of his meeting with Ubi because it was a private one, he admitted that they discussed politics and the state of the nation. He said, I really do not want to talk about what I discussed with P2B, the vice president. Yemi Osibanjo also visited me and I did not reveal what we discussed. Some people even said Osibanjo gave me money. And I told him to tell the board if he indeed gave me money. And he said he did not. Even at that, some people chose not to believe us. That shows that some people already have their minds made up regardless of the facts on ground. If I tell you my discussion with Obi, I feel that will not be right. But if he comes out to say something different from actually what was bad, I would have to talk, at least to set the record straight. However, I can give you the periphery of our discussion. We talked about how bad Nigeria is, and I gave him some ideas on what I felt needed to be done to put the country on the right path of development. He also mentioned that campaign should not involve threats, and that he said that was why he came to apologize to me for the actions of some of his followers who threatened and abused me on social media. Koti, however, maintained that he was not moved by the backlash he got over his statement. He said, I cannot be forced to support anyone. A candidate can even conscious the fight against doing certain things, but not all of them will listen. If I want to campaign for a certain person, I will give my reasons for doing that. I have spoken against many politicians in the past, including Bola Tunebu, the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, APC, and Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party, PDP. The Grammy Awards nominee also maintained that he did not call or be supporters zombies. He said a particular journalist came to the New African Shrine and I expressed my views only for people to start attacking me because the media said I called would be supporters, zombies, which I did not do. When I got home, I saw the post and I quickly corrected it and I did not call them zombies, but it kept on attacking me. Some people even threatened to burn down the shrine. I had to do a video explaining clear what, what I meant. I'm um, making they take them um, easy, easy making that they stop to the take them um, as in obedience, whether they are obedient or not. Some people are all coming out to say they are not obedient, they're people who are pretending to be. But this is my own opinion. No matter what, no matter how frustrated you have been, no matter how the situation of the country, you know, you don't lose plenty of things. Or maybe, yes, you know, say some of the people where they come out now, the people who keep Nigeria as it used to be, please be guarded in your words. It does not give you any right to attack anybody verbally, verbally or physically. I beg. Last, last night, better country now all of us want. And a better country now make we, make we continue to the and work towards not even not towards attacking one another because at the end of the day i keep saying it we are all victims in this whether you like it or not god bless you you're a true son of your father if your father told the truth as it was he didn't care who you are Miss gentle so rest in peace okay all right where the obedience say a very big sorry sir please forgive us it is just as we are tired of the suffering hardship and insecurities in this country everyone actually has the right to support who or she wants to support but being said if you're not supporting the obedience movement oh my goodness no no no, i can't even say that okay oh well, i've said it before you you can air your opinion without sending the regret without using offensive remarks or without using the derogatory words okay on this note you have come to the end of the news we say thank you for tuning in to listen until i come here next time enjoy the, the rest of your day